the difference uh, between the classical tea group and what we did. First of all, I want to say this, that the classical tea group soon, of course, took on its own different differences, depending on who was leading it. And so to just say it was a classical tea group and it's one thing is a huge mistake. But nevertheless, when it began, and we're back now to 47, the uh, intention was to call the participants' attention to what was happening that is usually unconscious. For instance, how are they dealing with their own emotionality? What is it? What, what feelings are they having? How are they uh, connecting to this other person, opposed uh, not just with words, but uh, everything, uh, uh, language, uh, I mean, uh, tone, face, body. How are all those things I mentioned earlier, the group processes, what's going on here that most people are usually unconscious of? Oh, Joe always interrupts Mary, who happens to be African-American, and Joe happens to be Caucasian, and he's talking about how he appreciates the contributions of African Americans, but every time she speaks, he interrupts. That's the kind of consciousness the trainer attempted to bring to people, and far more than that. Uh, if you want to read deeper, get my uh, recently published uh, in the uh, OD Practitioner article called T group as cutting edge today, really. And in that I go into uh, I go into distinctions about how we do the T group and some of how it was done classically. 